We're going to review mitosis in the cell cycle for anatomy. Definitions that you need to remember. Somatic cells, the proper name for body cells is somatic cells, and these are produced during mitosis, through mitosis. And in humans, we have 23 pair of chromosomes in these cells, or 46 total chromosomes. A homolog is a member of a chromosome pair. The diploid, or 2N number, is the total number of chromosomes we have in all of our cells, except for our sex cells. In humans, that's 46. The haploid is 1N, which is half of the diploid number. And in humans, we have 23. And the only place we find these are in the gametes, which are the sperm and the egg. 95% of the cell cycle is spent in interphase, the other 5% in mitosis. So interphase is not part of mitosis, but it is part of the cell cycle. So let's look at interphase. It's broken into three separate stages, the growth one or G1, the S stage, and the growth two or G2. And the S stage is probably the most important because it's the synthesis stage. And this just means replication of DNA. That's where that occurs is during the synthesis stage. Growth stage one and two are both very important as well, but without the replication of DNA, it can't go into mitosis. Mitosis is a cell division process that's been broken up into five major stages, the first one being prophase, and this is very simplified compared to what we went over last year in advanced biology. One of the first things that happens during prophase is the nuclear envelope disappears, the chromosomes condense, and we can see sister chromatids and the centromere. So here are our sister chromatids here, and this is the portion that holds them together called the centromere. And in animal cells, we see spindle fibers form, which are going to be uh, what allows those chromosomes to be split. In metaphase, this is a phase that's easy to recognize because in metaphase, chromosomes move to the middle or they line up in the middle on the equator. Each chromatid is attached to a spindle with a centromere. So here's our spindle fibers, here's the centromere, and they're attached back to um, the centrosome here. In anaphase, the centromere split, the sister chromatids get pulled to opposite poles of the cell, and each chromatid is now a separate chromosome. And then in telophase, you actually get the reformation of the nuclear envelope that went away during prophase, and chromosomes start to unwind and uncoil. And then cytokinesis occurs, which is cytoplasm uh, cutting or in its cell cutting. So the cytoplasm divides and you end up with two new daughter cells that are separate and they are genetically identical to the parent. In cell differentiation, all of your cells have the same DNA. And during development of the embryo, cell differentiation occurs and special types of cells are created. So by birth, you had more than 200 types of specialized cells, and all those cells came from a single copy. Where did that come from? Of course, that came from your mom and your dad. Apoptosis is cell death. That's the anatomy term for cell death, and it's a normal part of development, just like death is a part of life. And apoptosis is used to carve away webbings between fingers and toes to remove extra brain cells, although we wouldn't want a whole lot of extra brain cells removed to keep your immune system cells helpful to the body and gets rid of potentially cancer-causing cells after a sunburn. And that's going to lead us into uh, the rest of anatomy once we've covered the cell cycle and uh, covered um, the organelles for a quick review, and then we'll get into our first system.